The goal of GraphSlam is to create a graph of all robot poses and features encountered in the environment and find the most likely robot's path and map of the environment. This task can be broken up into two sections, the front end and the back end. The front end of GraphSlam looks at how to construct the graph using the odometry and sensory measurements collected by the robot. This includes interpreting sensory data, creating the graph, and continuing to add nodes and edges to it as the robot traverses the environment. Naturally, the front end can differ greatly from application to application, depending on the desired goal, including accuracy, the sensor used, and other factors. For instance, the front end of a mobile robot applying SLAM in the office using a laser rangefinder would differ greatly from the front end for a vehicle operating in a large outdoor environment and using a stereo camera. The front end of GraphSlam also has the challenge of solving the data association problem. In simpler terms, this means accurately identifying whether features in the environment have been previously seen. We will touch upon this in more detail at a later time. The back end of GraphSlam is where the magic happens. The input to the back end is the completed graph with all of the constraints, and the output is the most probable configuration of robot poses and map features. The back end is an optimization process that takes all of the constraints and finds the system configuration that produces the smallest error. The back end is a lot more consistent across applications. The front end and the back end can be completed in succession or can be performed iteratively with the back end feeding an updated graph to the front end for further processing.